Macy is undeniably one of the strongest brawlers in the game right now. Her super has crazy teamite potential, she has one of the best gadget and super combinations, she does so much damage, and if you're hitting most of your shots, her hypercharge is incredibly easy to charge, making her unstoppable. Since masteries have been released, I have mastered over 20 different brawlers, and I thought it is finally time to master one of the best brawlers in the game, Macy. I normally master all of my brawlers in one go, meaning I pinch play that brawler and that brawler only until I unlock its mastery. I've played Macy a few times since her release. I even got her to 1000 trophies. Mainly, I just got distracted by all the other brawlers I've mastered. The last time I checked Macy out, I realized I'm already at gold 1. Many seasons have ended since getting her to rank 30, so we're going to be starting a little under 1000 and trophies and by the end of this video we will be getting her to 1500 trophies i'm also going to be torturing myself by playing macy through the larry and lori apocalypse but don't worry because macy actually does fairly well into these two even when there's six of them we're starting off on macy's best mode which is bra ball she has the ability to control the map very easily with her super the knockback from her super and the slow from her star power makes scoring the ball a lot easier to be honest I was a little nervous to play Macy because I hadn't played her in months. Her shots are a little hard to hit because there's a delay and it shoots up pretty slow, allowing enemies to dodge it very easily, but it does do a lot of damage at 2,560 damage per shot. On top of that, you only need to hit 3-4 to four shots to get her super, which seems way too easy to get, especially for a game-changing super like Macy's. Speaking of her super, the best build for Macy is Tremor's star power, which slows enemies who are hit by her super. It always guarantees at least one kill, if not more, especially when your teammates are helping out. The best gadget is definitely Disengage, which gives her a little dash and a stun. The most important part is the dash because of her super and gadget combination. Basically, you press the super button and then immediately use your gadget to surprise enemies. It gives you extra range to be able to hit your super, since in some games it might be a little hard to get near enemies once you get your super if they know and they're trying to back away from you. After playing a few games on Bravo, we move to hot zone on one of my favorite maps called open zone i'm playing with juan carlos and these games are actually super high stakes because juan currently has over 1200 thousand trophies yes over 100 thousand trophies his crow is currently around 1300 trophies and he cannot afford to tilt so let's win these games i was a little nervous for this first game because we're against another creator and pro players i hate being on this side of the map because any brawler can sneak up on you through this grass and i wasn't paying too much attention at the beginning so i had no idea which brawler was their third but it was just a dynamite. They have a max, which is kind of a nightmare for Macy because her shots are already so slow. And with max's speed, it's so impossible to hit any shots unless you just get lucky. I was able to kill her when she slowed down, but the dynamite also got me. I like this map a lot with Macy because of how much area denial you can have just by flashing your super. And if for some reason they don't want to, then that's an easy kill for you after you use your super. That was unfortunate there by the fang to bounce off the wall because it cancels his super. I think that if I was in his vision and he went for me, it would have played out a lot better for him since he would kill me and potentially our Pam as well. But my life was spared, fortunately. It was a very close game, but we ended up winning. We brought it back to Brawl Ball on Galaxy Arena. I think Macy is really good paired with Brawlers with slows or stuns, so it's easier for you to hit your shots, and you can work with your teammates to get some easy kills rather than struggling to hit your shots. We didn't plan it, but our team comp makes it so easy for me to do my thing as Macy. We all have slows. Rosa with her unfriendly bushes gadget, Crow with the slowing toxin gadget, and of course, Macy with her super and star power. You can see here, it's hard for me to hit the pearl in the bushes because because of speed gear, but when Rosa uses her gadget, we can easily kill the pearl together. Once you have your super and hypercharge with Macy, all you have to do is find some positioning and it is over for the enemy team. Here I'm just planning to throw the ball up, super and gadget to get positioning, hoping to at least hit two people. It got us some positioning, even though I almost died, but I live. We move up, Juan almost scores, but that's okay because OG was able to pick it up and score and body buff for me. We kept playing on this map because I still need to get my Macy back up to a thousand trophies. Right before hitting 1000 trophies again, I played a few games on gem grab. We're on the map Hard Rock Mine. Gem grab is also a strong mode for Macy. I really like this map because of the walls. It makes it so easy for Macy to peek shots from behind them. Once you have your super, you can also just stand behind them and the enemy will probably be too scared to move up. Either that 
or you get an easy kill. One thing you need to be careful about with Macy is stuns or knockback. The last thing you want to happen is working so hard to get your super, finding the perfect opportunity to use it, and then it just gets cancelled by a stun or a knockback. Brawlers like Fang, Sandy, Jackie, Shelly, or even another Macy can all stop your super very easily. But the good thing is that with Macy's gadget, you can stop brawlers who end up getting right on top of you since it stuns them. It's really good against fangs when they super right on top of you. It could potentially spare you and your teammates. Okay, this is when matchmaking started getting a little crazy, unfortunately. We started seeing a lot of double brawlers. Here, there's double surge, and I don't mind double surge too much because if you don't feed them, they're virtually useless at level 1 or 2. We did begin to go on a win streak, and I hit rank 30 again, finally. But we still have a long way to go until 1,500 trophies, so let's keep playing. One thing I really hate on this map is Rico. He's just way too fast with his star power and he can get all the right angles and even longer range while you as Macy can only shoot directly down. So I try to avoid them or just try to sneak up on them. Once you do have positioning on a Rico, it should be a lot easier. Just try not to get pinched. After a few more games of dealing with very annoying Ricos, although Ricos aren't the only annoying brother in this video, I did hit rank 31 and so close to gold too. This next game, everything was going so good, but again, the freaking Rico, doing Rico things. This is definitely one of Rico's best maps. There's just so many good angles for him. Fortunately, I was able to kill him. I thought OG would be able to pick up the gems in time, but they split the gems and he ended up going down. They just need three more gems, which the Rico snatches so quick. I was able to take down the Jackie and I really meant to use my hypercharge here, but I missed the button. I'm just trying to stay alive here. I'd rather keep positioning here than rushing it. I know it's so tempting to rush it sometimes, but it worked out. That was a really good super from the loot to stop the Fang super and we win the game. Then, something really unfortunate happened. Larry and Lori were just released. At first, because it was early access, if you buy the brawler, it wasn't too bad. Since we weren't facing triple Larrys every game yet, but yes, it's coming. Also, I did have to say goodbye to any chance of me ever getting star player again for the extra mastery points because I did have a Larry on my team and he just does so much damage. I don't really like backyard bowl too much, but with Macy, it's not the worst if you use the walls to your advantage. It's just kind of hard with Larry and Lori. After all of that, I finally made it to gold too. And after just one more game, I got to rank 32 on Macy. A new Brawl Ball map came out called Power Shot, and this is when things started getting Getting so much more difficult. We start seeing more and more of the double Larrys and Lorries, or what I like to call the Larry and Lori apocalypse. It's hard dealing with just one of them because it's, it's two people and one brawler, but when you're against two or three of them, it's actually four or six of them. The amount of times we've played and there's just six of them running across the map, it seems so impossible to win. Either you win early before they get their supers or a literal miracle happens, all the other options are a loss. It's also just so hard to tell which bot is Lori and which is Larry, the actual player, especially when there's double or triple brawler. It's harder at higher trophies when the names are removed because now there is no clear indicator of which is the player and which is the bot other than the light on their head. This brawler has just been such a nightmare to play against, but I did fortunately manage to keep playing. I lost my sanity, but I did get rank 33 rank 34 and finally rank 35 on macy my teammates and i got so tired of facing triple and double larry's and Lori's that we decided to switch it to knockout because we thought maybe less people would want to play larry and Lori on knockout since it's a slower game mode we were kind of right but also not at the same time. It just wasn't as frequent as in the other modes. Macy isn't the best on Knockout, but she's actually really good on this map called Close Quarters because of how the walls are set up. They're close enough for her to peek her shots as well as super and gadget to get a nice slow and kill in. We went on some really nice win streaks and eventually got to 1,400 trophies before taking a break. Right now, I'm pretty close to hitting goal three on Macy. We're playing on gem grab double swoosh, another really good map for Macy. She works well on either the left lane or in the middle as gem carrier. You just don't want to use her on the right lane since it's so hard for her to hit enemies in bushes. Every time I thought I was just a few more trophies away from hitting 1,500, we lost a game. So for the last few games, we went back to knockout on the map Gold Arm Gulch. 
We have Luki on the roughs with his field promotion star power so we can build up some health throughout the game in order to survive all the damage from Larry and Lori. I had so much fun playing on this map with Macy especially as the map started to close in because that is the perfect time to use your super. Finally I got to goal 3 on Macy for the master of disaster mastery title but I was not done yet because I was just a few more games away from 1500 trophies so I decided to keep playing until we finally hit it. Thanks for watching and giving me the motivation to keep grinding all these masteries for you guys. Don't forget to watch the rest of the series on my channel and subscribe!